Hey y'all, it's your girl Renan Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some hair product things. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Taraj P. Henson's um, hairline. I got some more. I did a video before um, with some of her products, but I got some different ones that I never tried before from her. So um, let's just jump right into it. So I had just took out my um, my braids that I had in and so with that you know you need an extra bit of a cleanse going on so I used the master cleanse which I've used before I really like this nozzle so you can like really scrub on your scalp and it has like that minty cooling feeling which I really like um, but in addition to her master cleanse I used the honey fresh shampoo so this is a clarifying shampoo. It's my first time trying this one as well. It's a clarifying shampoo as well, but you know when you've had your braids in for like four to six weeks and that buildup happens, your hair could use an extra bit of cleanse um, more than usual. Um, before I started shampooing, I did go in with the Dark and Lovely. Um, it's like a buildup detangling cream. It really melts down that um, buildup which I absolutely love. I don't know why I'm just coming across this product in life, but it is amazing and I just can't, I can't, I can't begin to shampoo my hair after taking down my braids without that product. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Like it just makes everything so much easier. And if you did not know, it is very important to loosen up that buildup before you shampoo. Cause if you don't and you have like tightly curly hair like mine, so even if you don't have tightly curly hair there's a good chance that you may have more of an issue detangling because that dirt has like matted up in there a little bit while you're shampooing um because you didn't loosen up that dirt so that it can just like come right on out when you shampoo anyway back to shampooing i went in first i did two shampoos so i did the first one with the master cleanse with this nozzle on it and then i did the second one with this honey fresh now i like this honey fresh shampoo it has a little bit it has a little more moisture in it than this one which is why i did the two i would not normally do the two on the regular i would just pick one and most likely i would pick the honey fresh ones i don't know why i wouldn't call it honeydew I would pick the Honey Fresh one because um, it has that extra moisture. And this one just really just strips your hair. It does what it's supposed to do. It gets all of that stuff out of your hair. But this one, um, it just has a little more moisture to it. So on a regular, I would use this one um, over this one. This one I'm only using when I've taken down my braids or something like that. On to conditioning. So I ended up getting the mint condition. Um, conditioner and the mask on now the first one i tried was it's like a red clay mask or something it's in a red jar i love like that one is it i compare all other conditioners to that one that red is in the same jar the same shape but it's just red that one i love now this one because it has a nozzle like that master cleanse one and it has a minty cooling feeling as well for your scalp I put this one just on my scalp so let me close if I demonstrate so I was just like put this on my scalp like that and then the rest like from like the mid to like the ends of my hair I put this clay mask now they're okay um they're okay like the tink the the the, the mint condition that one I love the most, I think, because I love that cool uh, feeling, especially when you're letting your conditioner sit in for a while. You go do some things around the house or you go work out like I did. And, you know, you keep that cooling feeling on your scalp. It's amazing. This mask, though, this clay mask, um, it was all right. Like, my hair felt strong once I rinsed it out. It was nothing to remember or brag about, but you see how I'm still talking about that one in the red in the red jar though. Y'all gotta go run out and get that one in the red jar. It's it's still Taraji's line, but that one in the red jar is everything. Absolutely loved it. Um, so then I did go in with the twist and set um twisting cream. Um, I use it to create this uh, wash and go. You know. It is okay. First of all, I like the smell of her products. Her products 
have a very unique smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's a very unique smell. You know the smell of her products, and I think I've grown to enjoy the smell. Um, this twist cream, it's okay. It has a really good consistency. Um, a little bit goes a long way, which is amazing. That part is a major plus. Um, but it's it's like any other cream. Um, if you decide you want to be like a diehard Taraji B. Henson like hairline fan, this is you know it's good. It's nothing bad about it. At the same time, it's just nothing to brag about and nothing that I would like remember. But um, you know it has a good consistency and it spreads well. So a little goes a long way. So that way, I mean that way you're getting a lot for your money, which is great. Um, I did go in with the glow up oil. So I put in my, uh, I put in this twist and set cream on a section. I went over it with the glow up oil. I like the glow up oil. At first I did not like the oil, but um, it's like coconut oil. You have to like put in your hands and like warm it up. Um, so I really like it. And um, I went over that over top of it. And then I set my curls with Eco Style Gel, of course. And then I sat under the dryer and this is what you have. Um, but I really like um, some of her her products from her line. I don't, I won't say I like everything, but I will say that this Master Cleanse is everything. But I'm only using it when I've taken out when I'm taking out protector style that I've had in for like a good four to six weeks, and I really had some buildup going on. Her Honey Fresh shampoo, I actually really did like it. Um, that red clay mask, let me tell you something. I've mentioned that so many times in this video. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, and the mint condition conditioner. That I really like. So as far as like repurchasing, like for real repurchasing and like bragging about, talking about, definitely that clay mask in the red jar and the mint condition. I'm not never really on a hunt for like a shampoo that's gonna like strip everything out of my hair rarely I'm never hunting for that but because I have it yes I'm gonna use it you know on those times like I said but that red that red jar uh, clay mask is everything and the mint condition was great because of the nozzle and the tingly feeling so y'all let me know if you tried her line um, in the description box below let me know and let me know how you felt about it um and if it worked for your hair type, I have 4C hair, so I need all the moisture I can get. So I'm always on the hunt for moisture products. But um, yeah, just let me know what you think about it and how you, you know, if you liked it, even if you didn't like it, just let me know. So we can talk about it and we can like chat about that. Um, but don't forget to thumbs up this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was helpful. And I will see y'all next time on another video. Bye.